Oxford Discover, Student Book Six, by Kenna Burke, published and copyrighted by Oxford University Press. Hi there. Today we're talking about symmetry. More importantly, we're asking the big question: Why do we like symmetry? We see examples of symmetry all around us. Our buildings are often symmetrical. Our cars are symmetrical, and most of our modern gadgets are symmetrical. There's no doubt that people like symmetry. Maybe it's because we ourselves. Are symmetrical. Our faces and our bodies are symmetrical. They are not identical on either side, but they are so similar that we can still say they are symmetrical. We call this mirror symmetry. So, people are symmetrical. Can you think of anything else that's symmetrical? Well. Another reason that symmetry appeals to us could be that we see it everywhere in nature. Like humans, most animals are symmetrical. The butterfly is one example of an animal that has mirror symmetry. Butterflies have beautiful patterns on their wings, and each wing is the same. But we can see mirror symmetry. And lots of other animals too. We can see it in tigers, leopards, and zebras. There's another type of symmetry that is common in nature. This is called rotational symmetry. This means we can turn the image around, and it still looks the same. We can see rotational symmetry in lots of plants and flowers. Snowflakes have rotational symmetry too. You can't see it here, but each one of these snowflakes is symmetrical. When you turn a snowflake around, it always looks the same. Symmetry is everywhere in nature, and we mimic it in the things we create. Most of our famous buildings are symmetrical, and this is nothing new. People have always built this way because it's efficient, practical, and aesthetically appealing. We also mimic symmetry in our art and in our fashion. It's clear that we like symmetry. We use it all the time. But it's not a surprise. After all, we live in a symmetrical world.